Jenny is there. I love you, Ian. Can I have a chair? No, you don't love me enough to sub. Hello. I'm Who's so rubbish at technology. Hello, mate. You no, muted you've her. muted just. I haven't. No, I haven't muted her. She's oh, muted she's herself. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not very good at technology. <laughs> also, I don't. Is this a good picture? Don't not really. No, it's very. Is um, it blurred? You look like the olden days. Let me see if I put the bit. I don't know if I put the big light on. It might be better. I, don't know. I think you've just got it on a very... Your hair looks I mean, amazing, by the way. It's red. I think there's something wrong with my computer. <laughs> it's not this red. It really isn't supposed it to be. It should be, I would suggest. I want it this red. It looks it's incredible. Always, it's always the aim to have it this red. But um, I think it's the colour on my computer. Is it all right, though? Is it enough? Is it good enough? We can tell it's you. I think that's the important part, isn't it? Have you been sm smearing Vaseline on your webcam or something? I don't know. Do I, should I clean it? Go on, give it, give it a little... Uh, With a thumb. <laughs> Actually, that's a bit better. Yeah. Oh. It's <laughs> a bit better. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's still very low. I mean, it's it doesn't matter. It's, it's Lisa, is it bad? Do you want me to hang up? No. I think... It's a very cheap computer. We want you to stay and talk to us. Oh, she's got a brew. It's on my cheap laptop, so um, it's probably not very good. How are you doing, my love? I did Philip and, uh, what's she called, Holly with this. Oh, God. But really? With this camera, yeah. But it was in the morning, so maybe it was better light. Probably better internet. <laughs> Fresher. Fresher internet in the morning. It kind of gets dirty Saves by the end of the day, night, doesn't it? Maybe. That's what happens. But can we cope? We can cope, yeah. How are you doing? See, this is the new thing. If I was on the radio, it'd be all right. This is the new... Pictures. What is this? I mean, I'm really pleased with it, but what is this Twitch what? business? <laughs> you explain it. I don't really know. Um... It's a last desperate gasp at trying to have a career in broadcasting, Jenny. <laughs> it's brilliant. No, it's the new... It's the new... Whatever. The new... The new... The new wireless. <laughs> It is. It's the. It's been the, the kind of um, where loads of people go and play video games, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and now there some different kind of turns are, are rocking up. You know, we're doing this. We find lots of musicians that are you know practicing and doing stuff. And yeah, um, yeah. at the end of the show, we do a nice little thing called a raid, right? Which is where you find someone else who's streaming, and there's thousands of people, mm -hmm. and we try and find someone that's got like one or two viewers. And then, like five, six, seven, eight hundred of us all pile into their room, nice, and 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 behave. You get a couple of idiots, but um, and try and behave and, and say nice things. And it's a really lovely way yeah. of finding new talent and yeah. of making someone feel a little bit loved in a very lonely electronic world. I was going to say a lot of people are on here just because they've got nothing else to do, and it's a way of reaching out without actually ringing anyone up. So yeah. it's nice when a load of like Wally's piling at this time of night. And yeah. Keep them company for a bit while they play the piano. What, what have we had? We've had keyboard people. Yeah. We've had gamers. We've had people doing podcasts live. Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons type people. This is always at the end of the show. So like, yeah. let me make a confession. This is, what time is it? So I go to bed in about two minutes. Yeah, because you've got tiny children. Right. I don't blame well, you. Yeah, but it's not just that. I mean, I have, yeah, Kath, but... <laughs> Um, it's not just that I'm just I'm just rubbish at night time but um, yeah I, we have got tiny children but so I will watch so me and hubby Chris have have seen but I have to admit I have only seen your show between nine and perhaps ten 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 no, it doesn't. Um, and then I've gone to sleep but Chris has indeed seen it the whole way through <laughs> Chris he, is my Chris is my biggest he, fan he's your biggest fan Chris is like I met Chris in the jungle there was a, a day when um, for the the four the four finalists some of the family were allowed to come in and um chris came in and chris gave me and they weren't really allowed to talk about what was going on, on the outside mm. weren't allowed to mention it and chris gave me a hug and said keep on what you're doing keep on doing what you're doing here and you're, 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 you're winning for us and i was like yeah. oh, okay and ever since then me and chris have been friends but we both we both hate making and receiving phone calls so we never phone each other <laughs> we just text yeah. and it's the perfect 
friendship. No phone calls, no the phone rings, and I go, oh my god, I've got to answer the phone. I've or, got to be entertaining. Yeah, no live bloody video chats over the internet. None of <laughs> that <laughs> nonsense. Yeah. It's all text. What do you make me do? Yeah, exactly. Well, you're a, a professionalist. No, this is lovely. No, I lovely. was just. Um, I've got the boys are next door. They're with, through there. And in a bit, I'm going to take them upstairs. But I never show the boys on camera. So mm. I was just thinking I might do to them what we had to do in the jungle when yeah. we, that we'd get out of the back of that horrible blacked out Jeep. Yeah. And they would take us Guantanamo style yeah. to the challenge. Like criminals going in court. Yeah. But the worst thing, if you were on your own, it was kind of all right. You just had a towel on your head. You had to look down. But if there were three or four of you, you had to put your hand on the shoulder <gasps> on the person in front. And, and be led it's like horrendous. that. This is the stuff you don't see on the telly. No. It was absolutely horrendous. I was thinking about that because they're going to do the show now, aren't they? I mean, yeah. I don't know, is that actually confirmed that they're doing it in this country? And they're not it's doing confirmed, it yeah. It's they're a doing castle. it in a castle, aren't they? Yeah. So I wonder with the social distancing if they'll be able to do that stuff. Because loads of... Well, I would have mm. thought once they're... Once the, they'll be in a bubble. Once the people uh, are in, yeah, they'll all be tested. Yeah. And then that's it. They'll be in a Even the crew, though, so they will be able to shove that thing over your head yeah, and yeah. put you in a jeep and do all those things. And also, I d so what are you oh, doing? What's going? Hello. That? Is that an animal? Bed? All right, I've got. Do you remember? You remember Jenny, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, you need to lie down. Right. So you're gonna go, get down. I'll get down. Can, can I just say it's ten o'clock? And I said they had to go to bed at ten o'clock. They're Aren't doing they good. It, they're doing it themselves. They're idiots. Yeah. They could have stayed up for another half an hour. <laughs> While you worked yeah. out how to get them through. Very good boy. Do you want another half an hour? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Put that... Follow Ian Lee on so nothing, just one hand. <laughs> Shouted. It was shouts, follow Ian Lee on Twitch. They're, they're, they're here on Twitch, mate. It's a bit weird how we called you Ian Lee all the time, not Dad. Yeah, the boys call me by my full name. But also, we know, as we know, the science has, has, has come through from Chris Whitty that the COVID can't get through castle walls. No. So they're protected uh, in that castle. Ah, uh, mm. that's it. Got it. But that's the stuff I, I would rather see. Have you watched our series? Would you rather be? Yeah, our clips. In fact, that's what I was watching. Um, Chris showed me, um, because you must have done it late at night, uh, a clip of you watching our... Dingo Dollar. Dingo, what's it no, called? Dingo it called? Bingo. Dingo Bingo. Bingo. Yeah, Dingo Bingo. Bingo, bingo. Um, And so that's what I've done. I've watched, like, clips yeah. of the... Um, challenges and trials i haven't watched the dvd that you've got yeah, and i've got that everyone's got well it's a pack of dvds yeah God. i've not watched any of the, watch camp. the whole show. i've not watched any of the soap opera camp no, bit. i've watched most that. of you the stunts i don't think i've watched all of the stunts but i've forgotten that dingo bingo was really late at night and the late night challenges were a pain because mm -hmm. oh, you, you'd come back stinking you'd have to have a shower at like two in the morning and they would always get you up about six in the morning and they'd want to film you before tell us what happened what was going on in there yeah all of that rubbish this and is also, the stuff they don't show actually well, obviously they don't show it because it's really boring um because it takes me ages to wash my hair even at the best of times so when it's got like maggots and green ants in i mean it would take me a good an hour and a half to wash did my you hair. Get, did you get the pink slime shower. as well on the dingo bingo? Oh, the slime. Oh, it was just awful. disgusting. But this is the thing, right? It's it's that every day something like that happening to you, right? And I can completely understand now why some people, when they get on there, you know, of course, to the audience, like, well, what, a, what a miserable so and so they are. But actually, yeah. it's flipping hard by the sounds of things, and you get oh, a no, bit it is. And indoctrinated. They, you are, and they choose their moments, and they kind of, I mean, it's the telly show, and it's but. Um, they make the, you're hungry. Mm. I mean, you're doing it for the food, but you are hungry and knackered, like Ian says, so at night. So they, they kind of get you at your worst and then throw a load of crap at you. I was, I was we still get people on here, though, saying, oh, I've heard they feed you off screen. That's what happens. Well, they it? do. The... They have, like, a chip van backstage. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you've you got to bring your own money. <laughs> on, the, on the last morning, they brought us, um, brought me, um, Jamie and Toff, uh, bacon butties and coffee for yeah. the last one, So because we it was going to be a long day. But here's the thing. I never went hungry. From the moment I got in there, I was having yeah. succulent meals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you had that feast as well, didn't you? We had a boys' feast. Yeah, that we Jesus didn't get. <laughs> with, yeah, with the boys, yeah. and um, yeah, we we had we had. I ate too much. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I think I'm with you. But I wasn't. I think, I think maybe really slim people 
I think they often have worked out. They get hungry. Mm. I, don't, I think it's because, um, but, but not just that, well, obviously they get hungry because they're, they're hungry, but they, um, th- they know when they're eating, they eat quite often, slim people, yeah. most of the time. They snack. Whereas I can go hours without eating and then like I've, like I've got here some chocolate hobnob. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wasn't hungry in the same way as kind of Toph was because she was used to she was grazing all day, bird, all the time yeah. grazing. She needed food every 15 minutes. It was a laugh. I'm glad I did it. If I didn't do it, I wouldn't have got a deposit for this house. So mm-hmm. every, I'm glad I did it. My boys loved it. Got to meet yeah, you. Yeah, well, this is it. Yeah. Um, but it was. The, but the, the toughest thing for me was the days when you didn't have anything. You could have like two, three, four days. You didn't do anything. Um, and if you didn't get picked for a challenge, you'd, you'd be stuck there and you'd have all the gym bunnies going, come on, let's let's go for a run. I, go, I don't really, I just want to, wouldn't mind having a doze or playing Adamant or something. Um, but it was, it was. Oh, we loved Adamant. We played Adamant quite often, didn't we? Do you fancy a quick round now? Yes, please. Right, I'll go first, then you Kathleen, you. We love this. Um, and I don't know if we had this rule. If it begins and ends. If it begins and ends with the same letter, it goes back the other way. So yeah. Spice Girls, okay. I'll okay, go first. so which way is it going? It's going to go me, Kath, then you. Okay. I'll go first. Adamant. To Pow. Ah, uh, what? Uh, what do you do then, then? Is that <laughs> one go, word? Yeah, T-P-A-U. Oh, it's the end. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the originator. Not again. I was thinking, right. I, like, okay. Adamant. Um, to Pow. You too. Now, do I go with the O of the two? Yeah. Well, U2 Wait, is a two, oh, is, it? That's a is a two. Crap, okay, it? two unlimited. Okay. Nice. Duran Duran. Deli Furtado. Sweet. Um, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Ordinary Boys. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I like them. Yeah, they're he was in Big Brother, that, that boy. He married yeah. that girl. Yeah. That boy that married the girl, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, didn't work out. Spandau Ballet. To, to um, Travis. Oh, you just played a bit, Travis. Spice Girls, back to you. Stevie Wonder. Robert Palmer. Oh, back to you. Wow. Uh, 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 Five, four, three, two, one. Randy. <laughs> you may be. You may be. Uh, Jenny, but we were playing. She shouts. <laughs> we are playing the game. I forgot, the, I forgot the rules at the start, but apart from that, it went well. You picked oh, it up beautifully. Yeah. That was it. We just made up games. Do you remember that? One of my favourite things was um, us, me, and you doing a really ser- silly Coronation Street quiz about um, uh, and but no one, but no, no one else had really seen Coronation no Street. So it was, just, it was no just me and you getting really geeky Street, about also, Dev. No one- no one really liked quizzes or games. No. Chappie did. Chappie yeah. liked quizzes. They were a bit and Stanley harder thinking did, some of them, But obviously, they? I mean, it had to be sort of sort of posh Latin stuff. <laughs> yeah. So. You buggered off on our episode of The Chase just because you got voted out and had to go and look after your kids. So you buggered off. <laughs> you both crap. When it was me and Stanley in the final and you <laughs> missed this. They had to, the final is two minutes long. It's a quick I fire saw round. It. Did, were you there for that? No, but I saw it on the telly. But what you didn't see was they stopped filming the final round eight times <laughs> because he didn't listen to the rules. The rules were, an answer comes up, you buzz, uh, Bradley Walsh says your name, then you answer, right? Oh. So, so to say an answer is, is cheese, so, so I'm going to do but it. But he so, wasn't listening, was he? He didn't have his, he didn't hearing, have his aid hearing aid because he didn't want to wear them on TV. So I would, I would buzz and go, <laughs> Ian, cheese, correct. Next one. But Stanley would go, uh... Jeez. Like that. And we stopped eight times. And it was so annoying. No. You were dead patient, though, with everyone, I thought. Or did they cut the bits out where you flipped out? Where I flipped out? In the jungle, yeah. Oh, she was... (laughs) Patience personified. Or did you just go to a happy place? How did you do it? I think... I I, I don't know. I think... um, Shall I tell you what? Seriously, right? I'll tell you what was... Because, I mean, God. Thinking about putting me and Stanley in a room together not that we were in many rooms but in a jungle together you know we we couldn't have been more opposite a in that he'd never seen Coronation Street and I 
don't know much Latin um, and I didn't know about any of the things that he was talking about and he didn't know about any of the things I was talking about. Um, there's something a bit, you know, you've got, it's good to get used to stuff like that, to talk to mm. people that you would never, ever normally be with and actually be all right with them. Uh, so that's kind of, yeah. I, you were great um, because you just you kept your head down and I didn't really yeah. know what you were thinking. I don't and, like argument. I don't no. like confrontation. Great. And, and, and then wait, one day, because you, you had cameras on you all the time, except when you were off to do a challenge and they'd kind of leave you alone yeah. while they went and set the challenge up. And it was quite late into it that we sort of had a first proper chat and you went, oh, I think they're being horrible to you. And then we talked about... Um, how horrible it would be to sell stories to the newspapers and how yeah. you know sure it's great you get a load of money but then you are forever in their debt and i just yeah. and we just um uh, and also you know and I, I said this to you in the that horrible taxi thing there was a bit when we're being rained yes. down on by spiders I saw that one. and there were four of us oh. me jenny stanley and amir and we had to remember numbers and me and jenny both went we'll do the numbers yeah. Well, Amir was too busy screaming, wasn't he? He was screaming. Stanley kept saying, I'll do it, I'll do it. And he was wrong every yeah. time. And there was just a lovely bit where it, we, we were, it's, all this madness is going on. And I just said, Jenny, I've just got to say, I'm such a big fan. And my mum will be so thrilled to see me in here with you. And it was just... <laughs> it was also yeah. the bit where you leaned forward at the end and went, next time, let's leave the kids at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you were right. You kept your head down. I, I kept my mouth shut a lot more than I would have done. You know, it was it was a strange... It's a very yeah. surreal environment. Oh, um, I mean, it was just mental really if you think yeah. about it wasn't it and then people have asked me since because um we had um andy wyman our curfew who did the was it last year that he did it or the year before i think it was only last year yeah um so like cory people have asked me Andy was one of them what's it like should i do it mm. what, what what will i be like i have no idea like yeah. it was one moment in time for us that was that time that that it worked, it was okay, and nobody died. I can't, I can't, I can't advise anyone else on whether didn't it's Kate, a good idea for them, what it would be like. Didn't Kate Garraway ask you whether she should do it? I was it. all right, and I did enjoy it, and I met some gorgeous yeah. people. And yeah, that, Kate Garraway asked, and it was, I, I, all I could do is share my experience, because yeah, it's different for everyone. Exactly. Depends on you, depends on the other people that you're with. Depends what's yeah. going on in your life at the time. You yeah, know, totally. A lot of people are going in to fund, you know, breakups or whatever it might be, and, totally. you know, it magnifies everything, I imagine. Yeah. Um, I've just been out for my first meal since lockdown. Very good. Tenando's, I, I did, we did flip you on I had a cheeky before. Nando's. And it was because I'm dead. I'm prop. I've been taking this lockdown proper serious. Mm. I'm really scared of getting coronavirus. I don't want the covids, and um, I'm trying to, you know, play it cool with the boys and stuff. But we've, I've got my masks and everything. Yeah. And this was the first time that we'd gone out, and it was a little bit fraught. I, I was, but it was nice, and, and I love a good yeah. Nando's, and the staff was there were. Oh, you went on Eat Out to Help Out night. Eat Out to Help Out. They gave us fifty percent off. Yeah, but I bet it was busy though. Yeah, it was, it was busy. We had to queue. For, we had to wait for an hour and a half. No, tomorrow's the last tomorrow. night, apart from next week, which is Bank Holiday Monday. You, but the reason I'm asking is, you've got the wonderful Annie's in yeah. Manchester. You, how long have you been open for now, and how are you finding it? I know you're not necessarily in, in, in the shop all, uh, that much, but how are you finding it from the other side? Since being open. Since being open back yeah. open. yeah, I mean, this I mean um, this eat out to help out has been um, um, pretty pretty good for us, I must say, because I know some people have said, sort of seaside towns have said, it's not great for us, it shouldn't have happened in August because we're always busy anyway. But mm. actually, it's been, it's been pretty good for us, that. Um, and the answer is, it's been... I mean, it's been surprising. Um, when we opened, we were busier than we thought, which was brilliant. Mm. And that kind of, because we were worried. And when we shut down, uh, obviously when we had to, kind of life changed all on the same day. So Coronation Street stopped filming. Annie's had to close. Um, my little boy couldn't go to school anymore. All on mm. the same Friday. Wow. Like, it literally yeah. just stopped. Yeah. Everything stopped on one day and so and after that um it was bizarre lockdown because it was a real um it was such a mixture of real worry about what was going to happen with Annie's the staff that we had which was such a responsibility which I mean it just it just felt dreadful thinking that 
we didn't know whether we were going to be able to open again. So we had that worry and angst together with having the best and loveliest time at home with our babies, which mm. I, and I just thought we'll never get this time back. And it was such a weird experience to have both in the same moment. Uh, so yeah, but so we we just spent the whole kind of lockdown and Chris worked really hard at working out a strategy for getting back because we weren't open sort of throughout because we're in the city centre. Um, we didn't do takeout um, mm. throughout lockdown because some places near us, we we're in a little suburb of Manchester and um, one little cafe she, woman, she, I saw her the other day and I got a takeaway coffee from her. I said, how's it going? She said, um, oh, well, I wish it was still lockdown because we were doing brilliant in lockdown takeaways. She was doing takeaway bacon butter, takeaway this, takeaway that. She said, now that you can come in, no one wants to come in. Mm. I don't love. Um, so yeah, because people, you know, so we didn't open for the takeaways because uh, it just, the city centre was a ghost town, mm. you can imagine. And even people who did live in city centre, most people have got another home or they've got their parents' home. So they all went out of the city. There was no one working there. So there was no one there. So we worked hard towards opening back up um, for our staff, you know, really, because we wanted, we wanted to at least give it a go of uh, them having a, you know, having a, um, a livelihood. Um, and it's been, yeah, so it's been a challenge, but yeah, surprising. But as I say, this Eat Out to Help Out has been very good, but whether that's given everyone a bit of a false um, sense of security, we will see. Yeah, we'll be interested see to see people next will week. come back in September when they have to pay for Yeah, basically. the queues outside, outside Wagamama's, it was, it was massive, huge. And you do think, well, you're getting quite a few, it's a big discount. Next week, what is that yeah. Yeah. going to be? Mm. But, but, I, I, but I suppose that this, this, this the scheme is possibly, is, it, I guess, is to buy just enough breathing space so that yeah. places don't close down now and it yeah. might just help kind of nudge us yeah, over yeah. to the other side of this. And I think the this. fact that, and, and, um, and we are not a chain. We are not a, um, we are a small family run business. <laughs> you know, it is just me and Chris. Um, so hopefully, I think our regulars, they do like to support us. And whenever I go, I mean, I've made, um, and I haven't so far. I mean, I haven't been to many places, to be honest. <laughs> but um, I, I've made a bit of a vow now that I don't want to go to any shop that, uh, uh, own more than three. <laughs> mm. um, shop local, shop local, shop local. Although I'm mm. very pleased you had a nice Nando's. That's very good, Ian. Yeah, no, it was it was the first time. It was a big treat for the boys because yeah, they've not eaten out. And um, I, I, know, I know exactly what you mean, shop local. And I, I think this there will be some good that comes out of this eventually. Mm. And I think some of it will, certainly for me, is, is everything's going to be smaller. You know, everything mm. is going to be smaller and is going to be more local and is going to be... Um, uh, one of the things I've th I, I used to, it turns out I used to throw away a lot of food. Yeah, used to throw away a lot of yeah. food. And when we were deep in lockdown and you couldn't, you didn't really want to go to the shops. I've thrown away almost nothing. Well, they made now. you properly prioritise yeah. what you needed, what Old you really needed, style. rather yeah. than just going in and having a flipping saunter around and picking up what you fancy. And if yeah. the kids left half a meal, that would get covered with a bit of foil, would go in the fridge, and I'd have that for my supper, or, you know, mm. and which is like really old-fashioned common yeah. sense that my mum used to do, and I would sneer at that. But actually, I get it now, you know. Mm -hmm. I get it now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, it's 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 a strange old time. How, how are the kids doing with... Lockdown. Well, yeah, I mean, they're loving so seeing we you. did. We, I mean, it was absolute chaos. So I say, I mean, I've made it sound really idyllic that we were having this wonderful time that, you know, oh, I'll never get back. Um, but mainly that's looking back on the day after they've gone to bed. Yeah. But when I was in it, it was quite chaotic. Um, when we were heavy in, in lockdown, we had um, Chris and I would have our. Well, we called it our mental health hour. So although it, it stretched actually to an hour and a half in the end, so he'd have an hour and a half and then I'd have an hour and a half uh, where we could not be disturbed. Wow, oh, uh, I should have done great. that. Nice idea, isn't it? Oh, so yeah. Good. Um, yeah, so and then we'd switch around. One day he'd go first, one day I'd go first. Um, 
Uh, and we've done the same with lions, actually. Um, we've what would you do in your hour and a half? Hmm? What would you do in your hour and a half? A uh, bit of meditate. But I try to try to really chill. Although, well, a bit of meditate slash um, painting and decorating. I've got quite good at painting and decorating. I was never... Um, I was always get a man in to do any job, yeah. big or small. Um, now I've been doing all sorts. I've painted everything. Um, I've um, I've polyfilled. Uh, so yeah, just stuff like that. I found actually I changed our, our curtains cat? and all sorts. Yeah, I changed curtains. I sorted out sort of you know things that. Have, I've let go because yeah. my kids now, my kids are 12 and 9 coming oh, up, right? So it, we got through the baby stages and went, right, well, we'll decorate when it's worth decorating because they're yeah. just kicking 10 bells out of the whole thing all the time. Yeah. But I think there's something about being locked in where you go, right, I can't actually stand this anymore, so we're going to have to sort this it. out. <laughs> yeah, so we got just just top show things, you know, like new curtains because we, cause we had curtains from when I had my first flat. We just used those and they'll make do for now, you know, and... And it did was you just make that like, or you put them up? Did you I make put them the up? Curtains? No, I put them up, then I splashed red wine up them, then I brought them down, then I shrunk them, and then I had to take then I had to um rehem them. <laughs> so I did in some way make them. Very impressive. But, but what I did was make life very difficult. Well, yes, it's very impressive, but the whole building up to the and I made them fit is a, just a catalogue of disasters. <laughs> it's my own fault. And possibly alcoholism. That's awful. Wow. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? Um you've been you've been filming Coronation Street. When did that yeah, start? Yeah. So we've been back and um, it's very strange. So it's all socially distanced. And are you referencing, cause are you referencing, you must be referencing yeah. Corona in it. Yeah, re I mean, referencing without sort of um, um, shoving it down the throat. So I think yeah. the decision has been taken that, you know, people want a little bit of Escape. escapism. Brilliant. But yes, mentioning it um, in, in the, I mean, Sally, um, Sally Webster, well, she's not called Webster anymore, but she is always to me. Um, goes everywhere in the street with yellow marigolds on her. On her <laughs> uh, so that, that's the little reference there. Um, she would though. One, what, what way in? One way in, one way out in the Rovers system. Well, actually, I didn't see him the other day in a mask, which hasn't really? been on screen yet. Um, I don't know if you could hear anything I was saying. Don't you have to shout when you wear the mask? You People really can't have hear to you. Shout. But also, yeah. it gives you a bit of a break from acting, I bet, because you only have to act from this bit up. Well, I, but, and actually, yeah, and there was a bit in the script, though, that said she smiles wryly. And I thought, I don't, I, so I, had to, I practiced a few times on my cue I was in the scene <laughs> with. I said, do I look like, am I smiling or not? I'll do it now for you, and you can see if I'm doing a right smile or not. <laughs> what do you think? I think you are not smiling. I was. Oh, no! <laughs> so you see, it's very difficult. And then, we how does the social distancing work? <laughs> oh, when if you're doing a, a scene with like Ken or or something, do you have to stand two meters away? Yeah, so everyone's two meters away. Well, even from um, the person that you live with in your house. So my uh, fiance Tyrone, we had to do scenes two metres apart, even though in actual in actuality we would be able to stand near each other, but we don't really live together. So it's wow. very tangled web. Um, yeah, so we've kind of had to make it work. But then I read in the paper this morning that EastEnders, which kind of makes sense, I suppose they will be doing this soon, have got these plastic screens that you can kiss through and they're going to get rid of it in the edit. Huh? I, th I think well, they're like, be like, like fish on a tank. <laughs> I think EastEnders is trolling you. <laughs> that Do you can't think be. it's not well, I've true? got a friend who's a writer on EastEnders. I can find ask out. Ask her. I will. Or that, him. That, that, her, her, her. That can't her, be. Ask her. All right. That can't be true. I'll, I'll ask her tomorrow. They'll take them out in the edit. What they should do, oh, of course, is you should all, all of the cast of EastEnders and Coronation Street, you should live in those houses. Move in the together. Set, the set becomes a bubble. You're all tested. As long yeah. as you're all clear. Get on with it. Get yeah, on with it. All live together. I, I, to be honest, I, do, I don't put it past them. They probably will suggest that soon. That they would like us all to move in together because it will be easier for everyone. How uh, how delightful is Rylan as well? Yes. 
because you've done Supermarket Sweep, but you're the voice of Supermarket Sweep. I'm the voice of which the, is the coolest thing. Supermarket Sweep. And are you it's there? Crazy, are, are, are you there? Are you there as it's happening? You're not done well, in post went, or anything. I went last week. Right. So um, I um, was, I've got like a little office um, that I do my tannoy from, and then you know the way they, they film. They've done a lot of shows, and I think they've finished them now. Um, so they've done quite a few, and I sort of pop up in a couple of them. One celebrity special, okay, um, and uh, and a couple of uh, ordinary punter specials. Um, yeah, and I popped in uh, to the uh, supermarket floor. People say, "Why is Rylan on everything?" I, I can tell, I've got two reasons. Good. One, he's the nicest lad in the world. Two, he's really good. That's why yeah. he's on everything. I Might not be your true, cup of tea, it? but he's, um, he's he brilliant. Really he's lovely. lovely. I mean, he, um, you can see when um, when people are... Who was I watching the other day and I thought, oh, I'll tell you who I, who, who I saw. Um, um, it was an actor, uh, Paul Kay. Oh do you yeah, know yeah. Paul? Do you know De Paul Kay? I know him a little bit. Dennis Pennis. He's friends with. Um, he was there at that party. He was there he? at that party. He's mm -hmm. friends with Ghana. Yeah, yeah. You see, I might say something now, and you'll say no, you're totally wrong, Jenny. But he popped up in something else, and I thought, oh my god, how many? T he's worked a lot recently. He's been yeah. in loads of things. Yeah. yeah. And I said to Chris, which I might be totally wrong, but um, I assume, I bet he's really nice and really easy to work with. Otherwise, he wouldn't get all the jobs. That's usually happened. He is now. I, I suspect, and I, I don't know him that well, but I suspect in the bad. past there used to be, be there used to be some trouble. But yeah. he's a, he's very. He's, and that's he's, when he didn't get didn't get work. Well, he was when he stopped working for a bit, I think. But yeah, I think he's he's. I, I mean, I don't know him very well, but I've met him a few times, and he's he's very polite, very quiet, very humble. He's in every. He's literally in everything. He is. He's, so, he's kind of grown into it, hasn't he? Um, I, I think that does happen when you see actors that are in lots of things or presenters like Ryland, uh, mostly it's because, well, either they're really good, but you can't just be really good. I mean, you can be really good maybe twice in something and be yeah. a bit of a twat, but then they won't have you back. You've got to be really good and really nice. But, really but nice we also know some arseholes, and I'm not oh. going to mention any names, you know. But, yeah, but, but are they in but loads maybe, of things? But maybe they're not like that to the people that count. I'm going to write what, down do a name. Do we know arseholes that are in loads of things? Is she easy writing one down? <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. it a she or a he? Let me go and get my phone and I'll text it. Oh right. no, he might he might be a friend of yours. No, go on, text All right, it. Alright, let me go and get my phone and I'll Please, I'll text you. This is not my out because she's made me really want a brew. Alright, I will do in a minute. Hang on. Okay, do us a brew. Um while you're up. Alright. Oh, so maybe my theory. Here comes He comes here comes a name for you. Right, okay, go on. <sighs> But I think that, so, that some people are just, uh, they suck up to the right people. Sent. What do you think? Do you think that yeah. am I naive? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He doesn't, well, yeah, I suppose he doesn't do that much. I no, no he's, he's going down a bit. Less but than he used to. Yeah, yeah. Um... We should let you go. We've been talking for ages, and you've got kids. It's been kids. a long time. It's been we a long really time. Just you've got kids. Um, you, you, you were so lovely to me in the jungle, and Chris um, giving me that hug was just what I needed to kind of get me towards the finishing line. And I'm well, you so thrilled. You know, I lo you know, I loved you, and honestly, yeah. like that's what the um, meeting you, um, the, the mates that you meet on those things, especially something like that, is yeah. just it's it's worth it, isn't it? And we had a lovely day. How long ago was it we were at the Science Museum together? Because me and the boys um, were trying to remember. Oh, my God. It's been so long. It's because of this bloody COVID, isn't it? Yeah. Um, But it was last... Summer. Hilda was a baby baby. It was last summer. Yeah. She we was had a in lovely a day. Thingy. The three of us, me and the boys, um, and Jenny and Chris and, and her kids at the Science Museum, and the boys were looking after your um, your boy, yeah. and they were going, oh, yeah, he was really funny. He kept telling us about this cake he'd eaten and stuff, <laughs> and they got on so well, oh and it was... Oh, my God, yeah. Well, if you talk to my boy about cake, then he's actually either of my boys, Chris. Well, cake's a serious oh. business. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, well, let's... Can we do that when this... Uh, I keep saying this to everyone, but... Um, not everyone. I don't mean, like, random people, but friends <laughs> do I like. 
like can we do something when definitely this, um, when this business is over definitely that is. uh yeah. annie's if you're in manchester do the people have to book to come to annie yeah so we are we're obviously asking people to book asking people to you know, Manchester, we're in this uh, we're in this local lockdown at the minute. So I don't even know if I should be doing this. I don't even know if this is breaking the lockdown. This is breaking the lockdown. I think we can get yeah. it through. Got to wash, got to wash your hands after. We can't, right. we can't get it through your, your crappy camera. So, don't. Yeah. <laughs> but so that's it. People must, you know, um, um, check the government guidance of, of what you're um, what you're supposed to do. Um, social distance uh, galore. And it's, we're lucky, you know, because we've got the space. Some, like I say, some of these places near us, tiny little cafe. Yeah. Oh, Annie's you know. is roomy. Was, well, is there... You know, these, these places, they haven't got, they can't spread out. If they spread out, there's only one table in yeah. there. So actually we're lucky with that. Is there so a website? Go ahead and go on, what? Is, is there a web, go on, go on, what? <laughs> what, what, what? Is there, <laughs> talking to me, isn't it? Is there, is there a website that they should, people should go to? Of course there is, it's 2020. It is, is it Annie's Manchester? Uh, dot dot co dot uk. I don't dot run the bit. Annie's, Annie's Manchester dot co uk. We'll put that in the chat. It's, yeah. We've been there. We went there yeah. for a couple yeah. of times. And then we came back um, the next day for breakfast. It was so good. Mm. It's so lovely yeah. to see you. Lots of love to Chris. I shall bombard him with texts after this. Yeah. Um, and love to the kids. He'll be awake. And... I'll be asleep. Good. Love to uh, your boy. Are they asleep yet? Are they no, they're quiet? not now. Now they're playing the game. They're too good, my boys. They're coming at ten o'clock. Outrageous behaviour. Um, well behaved. Where is our little... Th I've lost all the screens here. Look, this is... There we go. Uh, it's so lovely to see you, Jenny. We will speak to you very soon. And speak um, soon. stay safe. Happy twitching. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. See you later. Bye. 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 Isn't she just lovely? Yeah.